step one into making your own stickers for your planner is you want to one have the planner that you're going to be using so this is a happy planner i just i got it at walmart but if you want to put stickers in here you want to measure the size of this box if you want to put stickers on the lesson plan pages you want to measure like the space here the space here the spaces of these boxes so that is the very first thing that you want to do whenever you get your planner is take a look at it and determine where you're going to be putting these stickers because you're going to be making them custom on your own you can make them any size that you want but you want to make sure that they're going to fit into the spaces that you want to put them into so you want to make sure that you know all of the spaces you want to put these stickers you measure the sizes so this is step one it's time to for me to show you how to make the boxes and shapes and all that fun stuff inside of powerpoint now you can do this in canva you can do this in keynote if you have a mac um you can also do this in you know word if you really wanted to powerpoint is my preferred method. So this is what we're going to use and I'm going to show you how. So you've already measured what you need for the spots within your specific planner. So I'm just going to come up with a random um, size. What you're going to do is go to shapes and it's going to cut off here because you're not seeing my whole screen. You're just seeing PowerPoint, but you're going to go to shapes and then you're going to click the square and you can either tap your screen and it'll auto input a square or if you want to go ahead and make your own square and you can see it'll show you like how big it is. Um, I prefer to do it this way, then click shape format and then up here it'll show me how big it is. So I wanna do it two inches, I'm just making an estimate here by three inches and that's going to be the size of my box. Now I'm gonna <clears throat> this means you're going to lock the shape. So if I go to expand it, it's going to keep the same um, dimensions here so that they match. Now, what you also need to do now is you can either, again, you, you could double click it and do the whole shape format over here. I like to use these buttons up here. It's up to you. Um, you need to make the outline of whatever you're going to use and then of the whatever you want the outline of the box to be and then as well as the shape fill so I prefer the shape fill to be white so I'm just gonna fill it white you can also do that up here and just click white or you can click you know whatever whatever color you want if you wanted it to be blue you could certainly make it blue and color code parts of your calendar for sure um, and then this here is the outline so if you didn't want it to have an outline um, I don't recommend doing that here unless you're going to fill it with a shape color because you need to be able to know how big it is to print it out. So if you don't want an outline, um, you won't have an outline like that. I don't recommend doing that if you're gonna do a white background. But I, I like to have my, my outline black and I like to make it pretty thick. So you can choose your outline weight is what they call it here. Um, I'm gonna go with a two and a half point weight. So now this is my box, okay? You can type in the box. Um, it auto will fill with white, um, but you can type in the box if you wanted to. I prefer to just stick a text box over it. So I'm just going to make a text box as big as this. So let's say that I have um, my first thing in the morning is morning meeting. So I know that every single day I don't want to have to rewrite in here what morning meeting is. So I am just going to do morning meeting. So I'm going to type that in, make the text box, and then you can select any font that you want. I'm just going to select um, a real easy one here this morning. So we have morning meeting, and then you just edit this box. You can make it fit whatever you'd like. That technology, technology. All right, so I wanted to open up my clip art drive. Maybe you want to put some clip art in here. So maybe I just want to do a cute little sun. Um, I know the the label for the sun that I want. So I'm going to use this sun. You could use um, any of these. Oh, that one's really cute. Let's do that one. Um, you're going to throw your sun in here. Now you can play around with the different sizing if you wanted to move this over and then make this sun pop in and then, um, you know, do all sorts of different things with it. However you wanted it to look, it's up to you. You get to design it. Um, so certainly play around with it and do all of the different things that you want to do with it. So that's what my morning meeting is going to look like. Now, if you wanted to do something like morning meeting, and then let's say you wanted to, I just copy and pasted the, the, that box. Let's say you wanted to put in here what morning meeting is. So let's say we have, you know, our calendar routine, or maybe it's, you know, breakfast and then calendar routine. And we do our morning binders and then um, we do our days of the week, 
activity. And that, that is our morning routine. So if you're curious what that is, I'll link that in this video so you can see what the morning routine is. Um, and then you can, that will be my morning routine. So if anyone ever comes to look at your lesson plans, um, you have all of it there and they know, you know, what happens during morning meeting. You don't have to explain it. Like if admin comes and wants to look at your lesson plans, you can space these out any way you want. As long as it stays within the box, when you print it on the Avery labels, um, you'll be good to go. So you'll then, if you want to make multiple boxes, so you could print these all on one sheet, you can just highlight it all, copy and paste. I like to line them up so it's easier to cut out. So if you wanted to do that, you certainly could. If you just wanted to, let me try and grab just the box. Um, I'm copying and pasting just the box. So if I wanted to do additional boxes to make different things, all you would have to do is just copy and paste the box or make a new box the way that I showed you how to do. Add all of your things in here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to print this on that full page Avery label. Once you do that, then you're going to cut it out and then you will use that as a sticker and place that into your, um, your lesson planner. So I hope that this was helpful. If you'd like to see anything else or have any questions about making these Avery label stickers, let me know. Happy to